take a look at this. Windows 11 with Windows XP skin. Windows XP taskbar, you got it. Windows XP start menu, you got it. Windows XP buttons, you got it. And of course, much more. With that said, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your Windows 11 look like Windows XP. So get subscribed, leave a like down below, and let's get started. So let's start with the customization of the Windows Start menu. Now, what I recommend that you open up your web browser and search for the open shell. Now press enter and here you should see a GitHub page of the open shell. Click on this and then scroll down till you see the releases tab, which should be at the bottom right. Now click on the releases and here you will see some of the pre-release versions of the open shell. But if you scroll down, down below, you should see the latest stable release of open shell. Now here I recommend that you click on the open shell setup exe file, click on this one. And when the download is completed, click on the exe file. Now the setup should begin. I will just install the open shell and then we are going to configure it together. So here I have open shell installed and let's start configuring it. Here, select the style for the start menu. I will select the classic with two columns option. And down below, first we need to replace the start button so the open shell will actually work. So click this and here I will also select style of the start menu from Aero to the classic one. And then I will go to the skin tab at the top and skin, I will change it to the Windows XP Luna. If you click OK right now, you can see that we have two start menus. So if I click on the left one, you should see that we have a brand new start menu, which is the Windows XP one. And if I click on the middle one is still the same Windows 11 default one. So how do you configure that? If you go to the settings, then you will navigate to the personalization tab. And down below, you can select the taskbar here. And then under the taskbar and behaviors tab, select the taskbar alignment to the left. And then you can close the window settings. And now when you will click on the start menu, every single time it should open Windows XP look of the start menu. So now let's get the Windows XP taskbar look. If you are still on the GitHub, you can scroll up and click on this cat at the top or the GitHub logo, and then search on the GitHub for retro bar. Press enter and the first result should be from the Dermin slash retro bar. Click on this one. And here's the official repository of the retro bar program, which will allow to change the look of the Windows 11 taskbar to the Windows XP taskbar. So repeat the process, go to the releases, and here make sure that you select the first release, which is the current release is RetroBar 1.10, and select here RetroBar 64-bit.zip file. So select this one, and the download should start. Now go to your downloads folder at the top right, and then right click on the zip file and click here Extract All. Now here you will be asked once again to extract the files. You will click extract and uh, after that go to extracted folder and click on the retro bar application. Now you should see a pop-up here, Windows protected your PC. Here I will click more info and click run anyway. So here I have an error. It says you must install .NET desktop runtime to run this application. Here I will click yes and this will redirect me to a different website, Microsoft one, and will also start downloading Windows desktop runtime 6.0. So here I have this exe file, just click on it and the install should start. So after the successful installation of Microsoft Windows Desktop Runtime, you can close the installer, minimize your web browser, and then once again run the RetroBar program. When the RetroBar program is running in the background, you should see immediate change in your taskbar look. So here you can see that we have Windows XP classic style of the taskbar. If I right click on the taskbar and then select properties, here we can play with a few more settings. What I personally recommend that you select the team here from Windows 95 to 98 to Windows XP Blue. So this is the default Windows XP look. Here, click OK. 
And as you can see, we have this Windows Start menu with the Windows XP taskbar as well. But one key ingredient, which I think it's looking quite off, is this gap between the taskbar and the Start menu. So how to fix that is quite easy. Just go to the Start and then search for the Rag Edit. Press Enter and you will be also asked to allow these apps to make changes to your device. Here you will press yes and now I will go to in this folder right click on this white part of the registry editor click new and then select the word 30-bit value here this is very important that you name this registry D word ask for s i then you will press enter and also make sure that this D word 30-bit value actually holds the value data of zero. So make sure that here is zero, then press OK, and then you can close the registry editor. Now, if I go to the task manager and then restart the Windows Explorer, now you can see that we successfully fixed the gap between the taskbar and the Windows Start menu. Now let's make Windows 11 buttons also look like Windows XP ones. So open up your web browser and here you will search for the Windows blinds. So not the blinds for the actual Windows, but for the software. So this program just released with the compatibility with Windows 11. Unfortunately, it isn't free, but you can try it for 30 days. So here I will get the beta version of this program now and at the bottom I will select try it free for 30 days and here we have Windows Blinds 11 program so here you can pick from a few of the presets or the themes which you like personally I think that this one which is called Luna really goes nice together with the topic of the video so here I will select the Luna theme and I will click apply style to the desktop. Here you will get one notification, just click OK and you should be good to go. So we still need to configure three more things and the first one is cursor. So go to the start menu and then here you will search for the mouse and here make sure that you select here, change how the mouse pointer looks. Now select the scheme to none and apply it. So right now we have this Windows XP cursor and we still need to change one more thing, the context menu. So this is the default Windows 11 context menu, but right now we will change it to the old one, which is also present in Windows 10, for example. So here I will go to the web and search for Windows 11 classic context menu. And you can type in 1.1, select the first link, scroll down below till you see the download button. So basically select this one. After that, extract this Windows 11 classic menu zip file. So extract all, extract here. And then in Windows 11 classic menu, which is the extracted folder, open it up and click on the Windows 11 Classic menu program. So here you can select this first option. So enable Windows 11 Classic context menu style. And as you can see, Windows Classic context menu style enabled. One thing you need to do is go to the task manager and then restart the file explorer. So now if I right click on desktop, you should see that we have the classic right click context menu from Windows 10. And I think it also looks quite nice and functional. So no customization is complete without a proper wallpaper. So right now I will change the wallpaper real quick and then I'll think we are done. So with that said, this has been Tech Enthusiast video. If you enjoyed it, make sure that you drop a like down below. Subscribe to the channel would be also much appreciated. And you can always support me on coffee.com as well. Link in video description. With that said, have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.